Hi everybody, the Xbox One October update is here. The update is full of new features to help you get the most out of your Xbox One. Let's take a look. Xbox avatars have launched and are now available on your Xbox One. When you turn on your Xbox One, you'll be prompted to create a new avatar. Start off by selecting one of the pre-configured avatars or start customizing your own within the Xbox Avatar Editor app. Select the Appearance option to customize the physical features of your avatar, such as body type, facial features, hair, limbs, and more. The closet within the Xbox Avatar Editor is where you'll want to go to give your avatar some style. Here, you'll find full outfits, tops, bottoms, dresses, hats, shoes, and accessories. The closet also houses various props that your avatar can carry, ride, or interact with. Virtually every aspect of your avatar can be personalized on the fly. Each feature, including skin tone, hair, wearables, props, and most closet items can support over 16 million color options. If you want to spruce up your avatar, we also have a new avatar store where you can obtain even more new avatar items, including licensed designs from Halo, Gears of War, and more. With new content every month, the Avatar Store is the place to go that you need to make your avatar even more unique. Once you've created your new avatar, you're going to want to show it off. The Photo Booth feature enables you to capture a great photo of your avatar to use as your gamer pick. Pose your avatar using a multitude of different emotes, each of which can be paused and advanced frame by frame with far more control than ever before. Rotate and zoom controls help you capture the exact pose you're looking for, and a variety of background colors enables you to set the scene. Self-expression is an important tenet of Xbox avatars, and we're giving you the freedom to choose how you represent yourself to friends on Xbox Live. Whether that's with the all-new avatars, a custom gamer pick, or your Xbox original avatar, you can choose between the new avatar and your Xbox original avatar within the new Xbox avatar editor. You can also choose whether to display your avatar by going to your profile, selecting Customize Profile, then checking the box for Show My Avatar. This will enable you to see your avatar on your profile page and in your activity feed. Additionally, now that you have chosen to be represented as an avatar, your friends will be able to see your avatar in various locations through the Xbox One dashboard, including activity feeds and friend content blocks. Next, the Xbox skill for Cortana and Alexa is available today in the US. This feature enables you to navigate and interact with your Xbox One in an easy and natural way using your voice through Cortana and Alexa-enabled devices. First, you'll need to be signed into your console you want to control. To set up Alexa, just say, Alexa, open Xbox. And to set up Cortana, just say, hey Cortana, open Xbox or search for Xbox in the Assistant Skills Store. If you're using Cortana on your Windows 10 PC or mobile device, try a command such as Hey Cortana, tell Xbox to launch Netflix. Don't forget, you'll need to be signed in with the same Microsoft account as your Xbox in order to link the skill. If you'd prefer to use Alexa, just say Alexa, open Xbox and follow the instructions. Or open the Alexa Skill Store in either the Alexa app or a web browser, search Xbox, and sign in with your Amazon account. Enable the Alexa skill and then sign in with the same Microsoft account as your Xbox. Let Alexa discover your console, then follow the instructions to pair your console with Alexa. Finally, try your first command such as Alexa, turn on Xbox, or try launching straight into a game. Alexa, launch Forza Horizon 4. You can use all kinds of voice commands to control your Xbox, such as capturing screenshots. Just say Alexa, tell Xbox to take a screenshot. Navigate through the system. Alexa, tell Xbox to start a party. Alexa, go home. Launch apps. Alexa, launch YouTube. Play pause content and adjust the volume and more. Alexa, volume up on Xbox. Alexa, pause. All these commands work on Cortana as well from within your Windows 10 PC or the Cortana mobile app. Wondering what else the Xbox skill can do? 
just say, ask Xbox what I can say. Or if you have feedback, just say, tell Xbox I wish I could, and then say what you would like to see the Xbox Guild do in the future. Now that you know how to use your voice to launch games and apps, let's talk about the newest media streaming capability, Dolby Vision Support. Dolby Vision Media Streaming Support across Xbox One S and Xbox One X enables supported TVs to deliver enhanced HDR with scene-by-scene -scene precision and accuracy for the best viewing experience. To set up this feature, first check if you have a compatible TV with the latest version of Dolby Vision by navigating to the 4K TV Details page in Settings. You can also check the full list of supported TVs using the link below. Next. Enable Dolby Vision on your console by navigating to Settings, Display and Sound, Video Output, Video Modes, and then check Allow Dolby Vision. Now just log into your favorite entertainment app that supports Dolby Vision, pick your favorite Dolby Vision enabled title, and enjoy! Netflix with a premium subscription will be supported at launch with more apps adding support in the coming months. This update brings even more new features. Today we are adding five additional languages to Narrator on Xbox One, including Spanish, Portuguese, Polish, Swedish, and Dutch. We're also adding an Australian version of the English language for Narrator. To set it up, it's as simple as going to Settings, down to the Ease of Access section, clicking on Narrator, and turning the feature on. A lot of hard work has gone into these new features and we hope you enjoy trying them out on Xbox One. For more information, be sure to check out Xbox Wire or my blog at MajorNelson.com. I'm Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson. Thanks for watching.